Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now. The button below. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaitanir rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem wa salati wa salam ashraf al mursaleen Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammad al Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wa sallam bi madadakum wa nazarakum Sayyidi Rasul Kareem Ya Sayyidi Ya Sultan al Awliya Shaykh Adil Faiz al Daghestani, Sultan Shaykh Muhammad Nas Muhaqqani, Imam Shaykh Shaykh Kabani, Shaykh Adnan Kabani, Shaykh Muhammad Adil, Abdul Khaliq al Khushdawani bi madadakum wa nazarakum wa na Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem Ati Allah Ati Rasul Ulul Amri Minkum and always a reminder for myself and abdukul ajeezu, da'ifu, miskinu, zalimu, jahal and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence and that a reminder always for myself that these things we do is a warfare against shaitan. These are not a entertainment although you may be drumming and enjoying it and thinking of the kebab that comes later. But the fiercest attack against shaitan is knowledge. Propagating knowledge, seeking knowledge, teaching knowledge. Well, Allah gives a Qur'anic title to be Rabbaniyoon that they learn the book and they taught the book. Means then the fierce and the greatest attack against satanic kingdom is knowledge. And they have an expression that knowledge is power. And when Allah want to bestow upon the servant Sifat al-Aleem there's also Qadir, an ocean of power that will be dressing that servant means that knowledge has a tremendous reality and they have an expression that the pen is mightier than the sword. With the sword you hit somebody and it's finished, what then the benefit? What are you going to do with them after you hit them with a the sword? Nothing, it's gone. But the knowledge that you propagate and that you send out and that you teach and that you learn is for all of eternity. The hit was once, the knowledge is for all of eternity. The one whom learned it and drank and ate from that reality dressed their soul eternally. Once they learned that reality and lived a life of propagating and propagating like a team. There may be one talking and 50 around or 20 around or 10 good rijal around them and like bulldozer they're going everywhere to propagate. And when that knowledge goes out it's a fierce attack against the satanic kingdom. So when people don't understand the satanic kingdom, they don't understand the reality of what Prophet has given to these shaykhs. That what Prophet has given is don't entertain them as a source of entertaining people but fight their devils. And how do they fight the devils of people? By knowledge because knowledge will set you free. Knowledge has power. So it means that for us to understand the equivalent because people may have it in a low understanding, think it's a side issue and maybe going to the masjid is a big deal. So, oh, I go to the masjid, I go for Friday Jummah, that's a big deal. But you know zikr guys you're doing this is maybe second day. No you don't understand what's happening, these are great warriors of Islam. And the shaykhs and the, and the ones whom are propagating knowledges are called mujahid. They are the warriors of Allah and their wars against devils and their qalam that Prophet has given to them, they are the pens of Sayyidina Muhammad Their tongue, their soul, their knowledges have an immense reality that is a lashing and a weapon against the satanic kingdom. And for us to understand like uh, every area, every environment, every home that they're trying to reach with this message, view like a city. 
that they're going to enter into a city. That city for them is like under siege by satanic teachings, most of which are Muslim. Don't think that the teachings of Christians and Jewish and other religions is dangerous for you. It's from your own race that's most dangerous from you. This is the ocean of hypocrisy where Allah describes in Surah Al-Munafiq, they use their kalima, they use the deen as a means in which to distract you from your belief. Their battle not with unbelievers, their battle with believers. And all the imams and teachers who have set up false walls and misunderstandings made everything to be hard and dry so that people would leave the deen. But because it's a deen of Allah people are still coming. Not as a result of those teachings but because Allah <laughs> wounds it. So when we understand a city has… is under siege from their teachings. They say, Mawlid, no, love of Sayyidina Muhammad what's this word love? No. They only want to read from an encyclopedia and say, that's it, only you come for Friday. So as if the city has a wall and the people within it are oppressed, they're under the oppression of that teaching. When a command comes from Sayyidina Muhammad that lay siege to them. So modern day spiritual warfare has to be understood. Means they begin to direct their nazar on that city, on that home, on that environment and they begin to launch their cannons. Their first cannon for us to even understand is their media. When they shoot out a video it's as if a huge cannon is being fired at that city, huge. It's coming out with all support from Allah all support of Sayyidina Muhammad Every angel and malaika are pushing out that weapon, that video goes out and hits the wall of that city and hits the wall and hits the wall until it begins to enter into the homes and into the hearts of the people who are watching. So it's not something small. But because un people's understanding has become small and their references are off, they're not understanding what the, the work of these awliya and the students of these awliya are doing. So this knowledge that they have set up to be false knowledges they have encased and held the people with those false knowledges. When order of Prophet comes that go. The first line of hit is then their videos. They begin to besiege and hit their videos on everything the shaitan has put a wall up. It means then it starts to hit, all you need is one person to see it and say, my gosh I've never heard these types of things before you hit their heart, you went bam, you hit everything that shaitan has blocked them. Don't look at these things, don't, don't, don't go to these things, don't understand these things. But for us to understand because everyone's watching Ertugal and all these movies and glamorizing everything and every day it's happening right now. And these shaykhs are mujahid and big warriors of Allah and everyone reciting with them are big warriors of Allah because the battle is based on sound and vision. It's not based on throwing rocks and stones at people. You see the wall, they hit it. The video goes and obliterates because it's filled with the haqq of Sayyidina Muhammad and Allah describes what? When this haqq comes it hits all their falsehoods and their falsehood is not something that can stand up to it. Not the mouth of belligerent and, and aggressive people, this is not what we're talking about. Those people we delete and block them anyways. But any grain of truth when it hits and hears this, their hearts are agreeing, this is haqq, this is what my heart has been understanding. My heart and soul were in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad before Allah sent us 
to this forsaken lands. We were in paradise, it knows the reality, it knows the sultanate. When it hears these salawats and these nasheeds and these teachings, it remembers their king. Allah said, I created you in truth, I didn't create you in falsehood for you to discover the truth. I created you in truth, you knew the truth, Satan has put a falsehood all over you. When that knowledge comes, it hits. Now the walls of that city are crumbling, the walls of your heart are crumbling, the walls of your home are crumbling. Then what does the force do? They begin to move into the city because the wall was their protection. And as soon as they move in, what are they moving in with? They're foot soldiers. They're coming in and propagating their app. Download the app, get the app, get the app. Haven't you seen when they, they hit a city, they come overhead and they begin to send their flyers onto every home, you're free, you're liberated, join the rebellion. <laughs> you don't see people don't put it together and understand what's happening. When people are under the, the oppression of shaitan and then dajjal armies that are everywhere, as soon as they liberate with these videos, their ground forces are walking in saying, take the app, get the app, get the app, get the app. Why? Because these are all the du'as of Sultan al-Awliya. These are all the du'as and the salawats and everything that they wanted you to recite. This will become your survival mechanism. If you're hefs of it, fantastic for you. If you're not, it's the biggest tool you're going to need in these difficulties. And as more difficulties come, they will be adding more du'as, more salawats, more of everything. Then they come with what? Then they come with flyers, they come with websites, they come with knowledges. Why? Because every kalam that you read from their teachings from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad even if you learn just ba, just what is ba? It has its power of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, has the power of entire opening of Surat Al Fatiha, the entire opening of Holy Qur'an, every ocean of Bahr Qudra just to say ba from their teachings has a power upon your soul. Every article you read from them, every video that you're hearing from them is dressing your soul. Five minutes listen to their talks on YouTube. Watch them, read from them, learn from them, they grab your soul and go into the ocean of that reality because it's a reality of truth. Truth is eternal, has no time and has no ending and no limit in its reality. And everyone with them are immense warriors. This is a war of sound, that every sound that controls an energy, that energy controls how people are manifesting. If you don't understand the people who hear these very bad sounds, very bad sounds, every word is a curse word, every word is a curse word. Now look at what's manifesting on their skin. Where they come from? Every woman looks like a sailor, why? Watch what they're singing all day long, singing, 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 every horrible word, word, word. Why? That sound is creating an energy. That energy is creating a manifestation upon them, so much so that it actually begins to want to manifest physically on them and they alter their creation. Allah made you to be pure and purified, beatific light upon you. And you put this filthy ink all over your skin, your face and your body until you're not even recognizable and there's the proof that that sound has changed this person. Forget about their inner reality changing, their heart changing, all of their, their functionality and humanity changed with the sounds that they made and that is the satanic army. There's no coincidence, 
their satanic army has big events, 200,000 people attend their satanic army and they raise their hand with fire and altars and give their allegiance to the satanic armies. Ooh, and all their movements, you think they're by coincidence they're waving their hand, they're putting their hand for bayah. Satan knows what he's doing with them. So then now imagine Allah's army, Jaysh al-Mansur, the victorious armies of Allah they are the reciters of nasheed. Every recitation, every zikr, every salawat is a, a light and an energy that begins to move towards people, hit their heart, hit their soul, hit their nafs. With all the recitations and the du'a and the presence of the shaykhs makes every energy to be real and begin to set people on fire inside. So that they have an energy that coming and begin to burn the shaitan inside, burn the bad ego inside. Means this is then spiritual understanding of their warfare, their videos that come out they're not something small, they change the whole atmosphere of the playground. Now look every ulama now has ambient sound and speaking in a nicer tone, have some nice little f hearts floating in the background, even the hard speakers <laughs> who are all everything haram, maulid is haram. I saw he had a video with little hearts flowing, ambient sound in the back with salawats. It didn't hit, yeah? You came and hit their falsehood, your teaching was false, you filled it with lies. So the haqq comes and says, make it beautific. If it's going to be mentioning Sayyidina Muhammad make it beautiful, make it fragrant. Make it to the beauty of what Allah wounds from it. And you saw now the whole atmosphere changing, that was their warfare. For shadeed al quwwah when Allah said, He's supported by someone very powerful. Their spiritual warfare changes the horizon of everything around. If you have eyes to see, you would see how all those ulama change their videos, how they begin to change the style of their talk. They don't have to give credit to anyone, just if you have eyes to see, you can say, hey, Look, the landscape's changed. There's a tashrif and an ihtiram. Now imagine the power from their recitations, their zikrs and their salawats goes in and obliterates every falsehood within the heart and the nafs of people and begin to change them. So this is not something small, this is not something you walk away from. This is something that shaitan is continuously attacking, don't sit with them, don't recite with them, don't be a part of the army of Sayyidina Muhammad Go sit by yourself so that you have no benefit to yourself nor anyone else and that is the danger. This is not an entertainment group where you think, oh it's your nafs and you don't come and you don't attend. This is work for Sayyidina Muhammad to reach the hearts and souls of people. This is the greatest battle on earth. This is not a playground, they are catching people in thousands and they don't get the credit of it. It's not important for the credit, it's the fact that what hit their heart changes them and they go to the destiny that Allah wants them to be with. It's not something small. When you see the views are 60,000, 50,000, 50,000 arrows were launched. Where Allah went with them that's up to Allah So it's not something small. You're heading out, you're, you're shooting out arrows of truth. They shoot it out and it hits. They shoot out a, a salawat and it hits. They put out a video and it hits. It's not an entertainment where you just say, I'll stay home and I'm not going to do as if you didn't show up for battle and you left the shaykh by himself. That's like Yazid, there's no difference with that. That you, you came to be with the Ahlul Bayt and never leave the Ahlul Bayt and definitely don't leave them to themselves.
We're waiting for Imam Mahdi who's a grandson of Imam Ali who's grandson of Imam Hussain If you don't understand who's coming and whose family is coming then you don't even understand what you're doing and you never leave that and you never leave them. We pray that Allah give everyone an understanding of what's coming and what's being done and how much shaitan is fiercely against this system. There's nothing you can do to, to agitate shaitan, you don't go around beating people, you don't go around trying to hit people, that's not going to do anything. The greatest weapon against the satanic kingdom is knowledge and the propagation of knowledge for that's why the pen is greater than the sword. And to win the hearts and minds of people with love and muhabbat, that's not a small mission. Somebody just sitting and screaming on the internet, that's not going to do anything, that's not going to change anyone and that's not going to inform anyone. Everything has to be done with the love and the ihtiram as if you're in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad for if you are one of those lovers you are most definitely in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad We pray Allah give us more and more understanding of what's really being done. And Allah send us support Amen. that every time we're trying to move a step forward shaitan is mooking uh, the legs and making everybody go two steps back. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa and the support of that reality is most immense. When we ask for support for da'wah and support for propagating the, the message of Islam and the message of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad they give little amount and they say, okay you can have this change for this, for da'wah. This is not that, this is a reality that you can't imagine. Anyone who partakes on a path of knowledge and divine knowledges, the angels are dressing and blessing and praying for that servant. The whole time they take that knowledge, every knowledge that you've learned from it or propagated it, it becomes a jari, it becomes an eternal dress upon your soul. It's immense in its realities. We pray that Allah would just send support and send more and more lovers and ashiqeen towards that message. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Click the link now to subscribe.